Before we look at other aspects of gates in combination, we're going to remind ourselves of the Boolean expression associated with each of the gates in turn that you see before you. We're going to start off with this gate here, which is a two input OR gate. The output at F for this gate is F equals the ORing of the inputs A and B. So that expression is F equals A or B. If we come to this gate here, which is the AND gate, the expression at the output is F equals A and B. This gate, which is a one input NOT gate, and in fact you can only have one input to a NOT gate, the output is F equals NOT A. If we look at this gate, which is a two input NOR gate, then the output expression here is F equals A or B all knotted. This gate is an example of a NAND gate and the output here is F equals A and B all knotted. Let's have a go at the first example here which is saying F is A and it's knotted and knotted again. Now essentially what we're trying to achieve here is a combinational logic circuit that will give us that Boolean expression at F. In other words, we're going to have the input A and that A is going to go into some kind of logic circuit here such that the output is F. And what we have to decide is what do we put in this area here? What goes between the input A and the output F. Well, we're going to start with A here again and it needs to be knotted twice. Well, the way to do it once is simply to put it through a uh, knot gate like this. So when it comes out of the other side, that will be knot A. Now, of course, what we now need to do is to take that through another knot gate where this now will be F and of course this NOT gate will NOT its input and its input is NOT A so that will become knotted as you can see there. So that is a combinational logic circuit for the expression F is NOT NOT A. Now in a later video we will come back to this particular expression here F equals NOT NOT A because this is a very important one in logic. Let's have a look at this Boolean expression here and see if we can reproduce this with a combinational logic circuit. Let's start by writing the expression out again where we can see F is equal to A and B or A and not B. What's important is that we build up the logic circuit a little bit at a time. So I'm going to look at this little area of the overall Boolean expression which is A and B, and ask myself a simple question. What gate would give me this bit of the Boolean expression? And the answer, obviously, has to be an AND gate. So I'm going to have my input A here, and my input B, and I'm going to take both of those through an AND gate, which I'll carefully draw here, as accurately as I can. And what will come out here will be A and B. If I now have a look at the other expression, which is A and not B, I now realise I need another AND gate. So I'm going to draw another AND gate here. And I'm going to have an output there. But I can see that one of the outputs I need is the A, and the other one is the NOT B. Now they're derived from the input. So I'm going to take a tap off this A here, which you usually show like that. That means that there's a connection to that particular line there. And I come down, you put a little loop there, which means this isn't connected to the B input. And you come down here, and that is input A into here. 
So I think I'll label it as that. That is also input A. Now the other thing we can see is we have a not B. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to take a tap off there and I'm going to come down here and I'm taking the B now. It mustn't be B, it must be not B. So I need to put that through a not gate. So B comes into this not gate here, so I'll just put a B there. But of course what you'll have here is a not B because the output of the not gate would be a not B. Now the output here will be A and not B because the A and the not B are the inputs to this particular AND gate. Now of course if we look at the Boolean expression we can see here that there's an OR symbol. So that means that this particular output here and this output must have to go into a two input OR gate. Now I'll try and draw that accurately here. Not a very good drawing really but we can see that it is an OR gate and we'll have the output F here. And F will equal, well let's come down here and draw this out, its input. We'll have a look at the input. We have A and B and the other input is A and not B. So here I have A and B being one of the inputs. Now because this is an OR gate, this will be an OR symbol here. And it will be OR with the other input, which is A and not B. So if you look now, you can see that the output of F, in fact, is F equals A and B or A and not B. So we've achieved what we set out to do, produce the combinational logic circuit for this particular Boolean expression here. Let's now derive the combinational logic circuit for this particular Boolean expression here. So let's write it out again. We have F equals, now I'm going to write this out slowly. I have a not A. Now I know that will be produced by an input A going through a not gate. Then I'm going to AND that with B. So I know straight away that the other input to the AND gate would be B. That's now going to be ORD with, now I'll come back to that later, A AND NOT B. Now I know the NOT B is going to be produced by a B going into a NOT gate and that NOT B will be ANDed with the A. And then of course there's a NOT straight across the top. Now that NOT going straight across the top and the fact that there's an OR below it informs me that I'm going to be using a NOR gate. So let's start off with uh, A. Here's my input A. Now I know that that is going to go through a NOT gate. And what that will produce here is NOT A. And I'm going to have my input B, which I'll put here. And that is going to come here. And both of those lines are going to go into an AND gate, which I'll carefully draw here. And the output from that is going to be the input which is not A and B. So now I have part of the expression. I'll need another AND gate down here because what I'm requiring at the output of this is A and not B which is the other AND element of this expression. Now to achieve this what I do, I take a tap from the A on this side of the NOT gate because I want A not NOT A. Remember I loop over that to show it's not connected to B. And I bring that into one input of the AND gate. So that gives me the A I need at the input. I'll now take a tap off the B here and I'll bring that down here. And now I realize I need a NOT B so I'll put that through a NOT gate and what that will do, it will give me a NOT B here. And of course that NOT B will be the input to the AND gate. I'm now going to say, right, what do I now do? Well, I need to OR these together. 
so it would appear that right I'm ordering them together so I need an OR gate but of course my OR gate has a notch straight across the top so that implies I have a NOR gate so that would be my output F there so down here F will be equal to the inputs to the NOR gate which is the NOT A and the B the other input is A and NOT B both of those input go through a NOR gate which means I have to OR them and then NOT the lot because that's what a NOR gate does let's now look at the last boolean expression and we'll write it out again here we're going to have F equals and it's going to be equal to A and B and of course we can see that appears in brackets and straight away I realize that I can produce A and B using an AND gate now this is ANDed with the following expression which appears in brackets as well not A or B now straight away I can see that the not A this one here is going to be produced by a not gate from the A input and the fact that this not A is ORed with the B means that I'm going to have a two input OR gate achieving uh, this particular expression here now in this region we can see there's an AND but of course that is completely knotted now that informs me that I'm going to be dealing in my logic circuit with a knotted AND which is an AND, a NAND gate so now let's build the circuit up I'm going to have my input A and my input B we're going to take those inputs through a AND gate, a two input AND gate so let me carefully draw that here and the output of that is going to be A and B now the other expression is going to be produced by a two input OR gate so let me draw that here as carefully as I can this is my two input OR gate and what I want at the output is not A or B again this expression here now to achieve that I know my input is going to have to be a NOT A and the other input is going to have to be a B so let's go to the A tap off from that loop around the B to emphasize we're not actually connecting to that come down here and of course I know to get a NOT A I have to go through a NOT gate so at this position here I will have the NOT A and the other input is a B so I'm going to tap off the B I'm going to come down here and input that to the other input of this two input uh, OR gate there now both of these outputs are going to go through an AND gate that's knotted which implies a NAND gate what well, doesn't imply it is a NAND gate and that's because we have this bar across the top here and we have this AND as you can see in that position there so in this region we now have a NAND gate there and that's my output F now therefore F will now equal its inputs here's one of the inputs here A and B and the other input is this one here not A or B and to emphasize the both separate inputs I'll put them in brackets and of course this gate is a NAND gate so what it's going to do is going to AND them and then NOT the lot and we can see that this is the expression we were trying to produce right at the very beginning so we've just produced a combinational logic circuit for that particular boolean expression